Hi guys, welcome to the stream. Yes, today we do bring your tactics, so get ready to dump in. <laughs> dump. <laughs> get ready to bring your tactics, not dump your tactics. Okay, so we're going to use a... Who's this? Aston Villa. Okay, we're going to use Aston Villa. We got your tactics. Okay, so now we got this tactic. Okay, immediately I will say there's a problem with this tactic. The moment I see a Mazala here, I know it's a problem. Okay, this is nice. Okay, I like this. It could still work. I, I'm not a big fan of the Mazala. I, I, what is with this world with inverted wing back, Mazala invert? What, what are y'all trying to do? Okay, we'll watch this tactic. Oh, so let's see whether this tactic works. We might. You got wing on attack. You got a mess coming here. You got track. It could still work. But here, right? But this is one time I'll say it changes role to PF and support. Why? Because you already got so many funky roles moving all over the place. Get him to get him to stay near the box. I'm not saying don't use the inverted wing back. I use the inverted wing back a lot in my tactics as well. But when I use the inverted wing back, right? I use it for the the the, the movement through the middle. So my tactics are all very wide. Where the maximum width. Because uh if I wanted to replicate what like managers like um Guardiola are doing right then it's maximum width all the way I don't play on anything but maximum width and this tactics maximum width is good so if you're not a good team you're gonna have these kind of situations right where you're traveling away you're trying to win the ball in midfield because a team that's aggressive because if I see inverted wing back if I'm now the AI developers right the more I see AI a human with inverted wing back I attack that flank I don't care I see the moment I see inverted wing back I'm attacking that flank I don't know whether SI coded it in. Okay, again, right? No width. You, you haven't we haven't been able to build up any play. Because you've got a lot of luxury roles in your tactic. You got track or Tista is a luxury role. He's not gonna help you defend. So you don't expect him to be going around um snapping on their DM. Um one. Then you got inverted wing back who has to come into the middle, right? He's coming into the middle where you have a roaming playmaker and a defensive midfielder. So he's competing against two other players like that. So let's see what has happened. Okay, the ball goes out to the wing back. Wing back plays it out. Okay, snapped. Lost one ball there. No, not enough support. He scored a goal. Okay, let's see more of this. <laughs> you have to remember, right? A nice um informal manager 23, unless you have a very, very good team. Avoid very exotic setups. Now, I would avoid very... This is a very exotic setup. It's got a Mazala. It's got a Trequatista. It's got Inverted Wingback. It's very exotic. Right? Inverted Wingback goes up into the middle. Then you're, you're expecting your Trequatista to drop down. It's for all that to happen. In FM22, it could work. Because there wasn't a lot of pressing going on. FM23, there's a lot of pressing going on. You're not going to get much time, man, if the team is aggressive and they want to win the match like Manchester United do right now against Aston Villa. So, okay, let's change this. All right. Okay, first up, DLP is holding position. Mazala has gone this way. Inverted is coming here, so let's change certain things. Okay. Uh, okay first, we're going to change this guy. Small role change. Pressing forward on support. Wing on attack. Bombing forward. Mazala coming here. Who's helping us bring the ball up? You get the problem now. DLP holds position. Mazala comes this way. Who's helping us bring the ball up? Inverted wing back on support. That's the only play here. So why is the winger on attack? So either you do this or you overlap. We make it even more aggressive. He comes in and then he tries to get down the flanks. So he holds up the ball. Problem is when you do that, this guy's going to hold up the ball, right? When that happens, you lose the ball if they press you and tackle you hard. So this is a problem right now in this setup. Okay, so I don't know if there are a lot of teams in real life playing a 4-2-3-1 with an inverted wing back, right? So, so let's try this. Okay, then we change this role to something like a attacking midfield on attack. Alright, so he gets further forward. This guy comes here. We got width on from this guy. Mark Titer, they were telling me. Okay. Alright, let's see what happens. Wing back is gonna go this way. He's, he's, he's been defending a lot. Uh, no work ball into box. We're playing Manchester United. Let's drop the tempo. All right. Step up more. Okay. I mean, in any universe, right? I would say that's a good setup for most teams, right? I don't know if I can make it work with an inverted wing back and a Mazala. I can't. Yeah. I'll be very honest. I don't think it will work. Yeah. You're never going to get much of a chance to do much here in the center. Again, you need more punch in middle. 
Go be bothering him if you don't support. Turn this guy now inverted wing back on support. Okay. Now your inverted wing back can actually participate. Okay. So. Right. Now your inverted wing back can actually attack the area. You can actually turn this guy into an anchor. Okay. This is the best way to use the inverted wing back, you know. Right. When you have a D. I mean, that's how teams like, um, like, um, man. Manchester City do it, right? So if you want to look at teams that actually play well with an inverted wing back, look at the, the masters of the inverted wing back, Man City. They always play with the DM. Right? Then you get a better structure. Then you can launch these guys into attack. See, now is the first highlight we've had. So if you want to do something in the inverted wing back, don't play this. It's not going to work, right? It's just a waste of space, right? So I would say go for a 4 3 3. Otherwise, play a 4 2 3 1 DM, right? And play wing backs. But don't do it. Don't. I can't. I'm not a magician. <laughs> not a magician, man. I think all of you can make good tactics. Understanding what the tweaks are. And the tweaks don't have to be a lot, right? Don't have to be a... Okay, the simplest tweaks is how do you push to score goals? And how do you pull down a lead? That's it. Just master those two first. All right. I'm making small little adjustments to your tactic. Like, you know, changing a role here, changing a role there. You have to... Drop down to comprehensive to see how the movements look like. Because is it the movement that you want? And ultimately, it's going to be whether when you created the tactic the first time around, you had a clear idea of the kind of movements you were going after in your tactic, right? So that's more important. Last but not least, oh, this is another the world and it's masalas. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now it's not so bad because Mazala inverted wing of football and support. Okay, now I don't think it's that crazy. Okay, it's not that crazy. Because this guy's support duty comes up. My this Tyro Minx cannot be trusted with this role. I I the last thing I care about, right, in this game. Oh, he's got a left foot. He can only play on the left flank. You're losing a lot of uh you're losing a lot of funkiness in your tactics when you do that. Because when you play a right-footer player on the left flank, he comes in on his right foot and sees two strikers. He uses his predominant foot to send the ball in front of them instead of across. That is even better. That is even better than a cross. Yeah, if you're a if you're a footballer, you'll know that it's true. Right? If you've ever played football, and I played as a I'm a right-footer player, but also I always play on the left wing. Yeah. Because I will come inside and I'll play one over the top for my two strikers to latch onto. Yeah. But if I play on the right, right, on the on my predominant foot, then I end up having to drop in crosses 90% of the time. Because if not, I would have to cut in on my left foot to try and shoot or pass. Yeah. So there is a lot of dynamic. As I included all these little dynamics into the game. Similarly, if you play an inverted wing back on the if he's got a right foot, you play him on the left flank. Watch what happens. Very nice dynamics. Because what happens is the inverted wing back comes in. With his right foot, he plays one over he plays one over the top for the two strikers. Yeah. There's a lot of things that a lot of people don't see this batch engine because they have got this, this rule in their head, which I never understood. Because he's got a left foot, he must play on the left flank. I'm like, dude, that's not true. The game does not punish you for playing him on the wrong flank. Yes, he makes a few mistakes, but once he gets good in that position, he's a genius at that position. And once you start experimenting, you see. Yeah. It's a lot of fun when you experiment. You end up in this little trap, then not fun anymore. Yeah, it's not fun. Yeah, I knew it. No, this is semi decent. Because he's got support duties. Huh? Okay, let's see what he does. Alright, Kutida is going to create chances. But there has to be time for him to create chances. The only thing I will say now is we might want to change tempo. Yeah. I don't know what his tempo is. Okay, nice. Good defending. Very good defending. Okay, ball goes out. Long. Okay, nice. 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 I didn't expect any changes from this tactic. I was like, nice, nice, nice. Cool. <laughs> Lovely. Love the combinations on the right flank. Okay, it goes with and then slaps it in. So we got one, like a pure winger here. This is the reason why sometimes you play a right-footed player, right? He's got a reasonable right foot, right? So because he's got a reasonable right foot and reasonable left foot, right? 
Okay. He will sometimes go down the flanks and then he would give you the cross and sometimes he will cut inside, right? And play the pass. Because his tempo is high, right? That move was done very quickly. Right? So he went straight down the flanks, delivered a cross. That was nice, man. That was so nice. Now he's played a safe combination. The wing back is not going to run forward. So if you had a wing back here, he'll be running forward. Now it's a full back, right? What the full back will do is he goes up, he sees Mazala give him the ball. Wing back, dribble, 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 Mazala half space, lose the ball, boom, counter attack. So full back Mazala is nicer. Make small changes to your tactics. Most of your, I, I guarantee you, 99% of the tactics people have right now, right? 99% of your tactics all work, man. I, I don't, I think there are very few bad tactics in the community. Okay. So this is basically a player thing. Right? Full back, full back, inverted back. Okay, what is he done here? CM oh, no wonder. That's why I saw. This is lovely. This is even... Now, the penalty in FM23 is not so high. It was very quite high in FM21 to play inverted wing back, inverted winger in combination. Now it's not so. Because they don't end up in the same spots anymore. See this, right? I'm looking at this guy and this guy. But he's going to pump up. Look at this, right? Goes up. Nah. Goes into the center. He comes in. Uh, look at Dean. See the difference he makes? Earlier, we had a wing back. Got torn apart. You got a full back. You want to play a Mazala? Go ahead. Be my guest. <laughs> now you got a lot of stability in that position. Look at this, man. That is such a nice goal. No? The interaction of the winter, we were the wing back. Inverter winger, right? Inverter winger goes inside now, right? Comes in on his left foot and uses his right foot to score. Lovely. Very, very nice. And then he's playing, putting it in front of a D, D duty. So now there's a lot of security. We can actually, there we go. We can actually get this inverter wing back to play like um, Trent Alexander Arnold pushing up. Yeah. See now, look at this. Defenders have to mark him already. Freeze him. Give, creates a very good goal scoring opportunity for this inverted winger. This is a very good 4 2 3 1. Very, very good 4 2 3 1, man. Yeah, the more I see Mazala, I get panicky, you know. I see Mazala, I go like, oh no. This Mazala is such a problematic child. <laughs> I get worried about Mazala. Oh, look at the yellow cards on, on display now. The yellow cards. Oh, Pikao. What is he doing? Yeah. You have like hard tackle? No, you don't. Oh, this is aggressive, man. The higher tempo. Oh, team. I don't know why. I, is everyone? Oh, no wonder. Son, you don't have to. Man, you've really gone into the school of uh, maximum press. Man, this is the... Yeah, take more risk cross on byline. Triple more. Ah, you love my triple more. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, remove all the um, tackle harder. Yeah, don't, you don't need it. I mean, it helps, but let's just put it on the front few, okay? Don't put it on these two. Because they're very expensive. You, otherwise, you have to, you always have to think about bringing on a set of central midfielders. Unless you have a plan to bring on the central midfielders. Unless you always sort, right? That goes, okay, time for me to bring on my central midfielders. So right now, we got to bring on Emelo Bienda for this guy. Don Donker, I don't know, maybe play him for this guy. Douglas Lewis for this guy. Okay, so there we go. So in this kind of a tactic, right, these two have to come. They have to always substitute. Them. I don't care. I just randomly pick two players. I don't know whether they're Donker. I know I think he's a defender, right? I'm a midfielder, so I just randomly pick two fellas. Very, very good tactic. Very little change except for the tackle ladder. Just remove, I mean, I think if, if it's that it's your way of playing and you enjoy a lot of broken bones in your game, then go by all means do it. Shadow Striker pressing forward. Guy goes this way. This guy attacks his space. This guy looking for chances to play one into the space. This guy looking for chances to play one into the space. This guy coming in on the blind side to score goals. What's there not to like? Plus, remember I told you guys earlier, never put a ball playing defender behind a CM on defense, right? Now you got a ball playing defender here bringing the ball up. Mazala coming here. Ooh, this is champion. This is a... Ma Ooh, this is a good tactic. This is... a. Right there is one of the best tactics I've seen today. I'm not surprised. I know who he came from. <laughs> yeah, I tell you guys, do not play with a trap inside, hoping that you can trap good sides into a trap. It's not going to work. Yeah. Because when you trap a team inside, okay, 
unless you have like roles there set up for them to win the ball. For example, you have like a ball winning midfielder, a central midfielder on support, a box to box midfielder, all like, you know, in that zone trying to dominate. A okay, trap inside might work. But half of you are using Mazalas, Carrillos, uh, central midfielder on attack, inverted wing back coming. What trap inside you're going to get? You could, nobody there to trap. All of them are not in the space anymore. So they're not going to be help you very much. So yeah, I tell, I tell most, I don't advise people to use the trap instructions. Because the trap instruction requires you to have roles there that are going to do the job of winning the ball back. If they, they're not there, they're not going to help you win the ball back. So I want to thank everybody for coming in. Hope you had a good time. Hope I helped. Um, if you if your tactics didn't get in, let's try and get them in later. Okay. If I stream. Otherwise, I'm going to leave these two here and I'm going to do them next week. Yeah. You guys stay safe. Take care of each other. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.